Right, hello, so I'm, I'm Andrew, I'm not a developer, um, but a hobbyist and a paediatrician by training. Um, I was here a little while ago just presenting something I'd um, put together to look at validation um, on the client and server side in, in an application I was producing. And I just thought since the opportunity arose, um, I might do, do a little plug for an event that I have no involvement in organising, so no conflict of interest. But uh, in case any developers find this sort of stuff interesting, um, there's a, a small team of people who run NHS hack days around the country, Wales, Liverpool, London, uh, periodically, essentially where anyone interested in healthcare application development um, can come together. We get uh, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, psychologists, uh, patients, uh, people from development companies. Uh, it's got a lot of backing from the NHS and generally really excellent weekends. I was just looking to see if there was uh, a date for the next one. There isn't, but the Twitter feed suggests that they're trying to set one up for May this year. So if that interests anyone, have a look. Do go along. They're immense fun and uh, you, know, you just get such a, such a fantastic mix of people. Which brought me on just to show you something small that we did that won no prizes but was, was great fun um, for me. So, so we, I uh, pitched a, a range of ideas um, of which the, the guys that came around seemed most interested in the suggestion of a, a tool to help record what's going on during the resuscitation of a sick child or adult um, because that's often left to the most junior member of staff to scroll things down on bits of paper or gets done very poorly after the event by recollection. Um, so we thought actually it'd be quite nice to have something designed for a tablet form factor which would give you quick access to recording all of the time critical things that are going on and then then outputting those and we had a really nice team actually I think three of us were used to developing whether as hobbyists or, or otherwise and then others who really had no development experience at all but we sort of you know clubbed together and uh, and had great fun over the weekend just knocking together a very simple prototype of something that would allow you on, on a tablet with a touch interface to be sort of recording various things about what's going on during a resuscitation um, whoops. Um, and then down at the bottom it's then giving us uh, a sort of time ordered list of all the things that are going on recording who's coming into a resuscitation uh, potentially logging who they are um, and then with the possibility of saying who's doing certain things so you might even want to say, oh, oh, the drag and drop isn't working here. That's a shame. Um, it did work. It used to work, I'm sure. So you used to be able to drag it to a person and record it. You can add notes to anything, scrub things out, um, and uh, hopefully record that you've saved a patient if you're lucky. Um, and then we found a nice little JavaScript tool, which, if it still works, will nicely produce in the browser. Um, uh, oh. Just right-click on it and, well, control click. Control. Oh, it's the Mac, yes. Yeah run this plugin, which will produce a slightly dodgy looking um, PDF of the stuff in the browser. The idea being that that could then be packaged up as, a, as an app with Cordova, um, and that could be something you could email or print over, over Wi-Fi. So we, we, we had great fun producing it. I've unfortunately been too busy and not done anything with it, but I'm trying to get a bit of interest from other like-minded people to see if we can start trialling it, even if in simulations. Um, and so, yeah, I hope that sort of might whet someone's interest to whet, whet someone's appetite to attend the NHS Hack Day when it's next on. And then the other thing was just to put it out there in case it's the kind of thing that interests anyone. Um, I'm going to Sierra Leone in March for a year with a good colleague of mine. We're going to be working at a paediatric hospital in Freetown, um, incredibly low tech, uh, largely. And I'm not a I'm not a natural believer that technology is the solution to all problems, but I'll be keeping one eye open for simple problems that might benefit from a technological solution, whether or not Ember is involved. And um, I'm, I mean, certainly smartphone penetration uh, among any sort of professional level in Sierra Leone is massively high. So the possibility of, of, of tools to help people uh, in healthcare on their smartphones is, is, is quite high. So um, if anyone's interested in that sort of stuff, uh, do, do keep in touch and I'll, I'll let you know if I think of any fun projects. Thanks very much. Yeah, it is. I'm really excited. Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, and, I mean, and, and most of his other stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah, all the stuff we've nicked from the airline industry generally. <laughs> yes.
were, were sort of slow to catch on. And I confess, actually, although, uh, although we came up with the idea independently, you look out there, we're not the first ones to have thought about doing this sort of thing. But we had a slightly different approach. The American Thoracic Society or American Heart Society or something has put together one but that's really designed for a smartphone with a much simpler interface that records much less with a single click. But, you know, this was quite, quite a nice prototype. Um, How long did you spend? This was, this was a sort of a Saturday and then a Sunday morning. Um, so, yeah, it was great fun to see. And it was, it's actually it's the only time I've ever programmed with other people because everything I've done as a hobbyist is just sort of me sat on my own. So I got quite excited about committing to GitHub and doing all that sort of stuff. So and though it wasn't said explicitly, we can tell by the icon in the top right that this is indeed an Ember app. Oh, lovely. Who oh, knew? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes. It's ge yeah, genuine, real Ember. Yeah. As a doctor, are you aware, do you know Hospital Run? Hospital? Run. Run? Run, yes. It's a web page, a free tool for running hospitals in the third world mostly. Hospital Run. Run. Run, run. run from Run. Well, hospital Run. Yeah. Dot, is it the Korean one? Uh, Co.kr, it's coming up with. No, no, that's com. <laughs> no, I do Oh, uh, no. Just Google, probably, Google here. I.O. Ooh. Right. It's an uh, Ember application, open source Ember Ooh. application, only called the Seagate Hub. Okay. Works offline. Uh -huh. And it's for managing uh, like a clinic. Uh -huh. uh, small, I mean, for people acting as a doctor in Zimbabwe, for example. Uh -huh. and, and how did you come across this? Who made it, etc.? Uh, no, they're quite uh, it was like noisy in the community. There are <laughs> people for, for uh, contribute because at the end it's an open source project. Right. So oh, thanks for the, for the tip. Looks very interesting. Hmm. Wonderful idea. Lovely. Thank you.